Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have no makeup on because if you have noticed the title for today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul video. I literally just bought some makeup and I just realized that I've bought some stuff that I haven't shared with you guys yet. I have them, some stuff I have for a while, some I just got today. Um, but literally I have products and I don't ever really share that I have them. Um, I may have shown sneak peeks on like Snapchat or Instagram stories, but I have not used them. I have not really used anything. And so today I'm going to share with you guys everything. So if you guys want me to do anything, a tutorial or anything like that with these products, I can do that. So, yes, before we get into the haul, be sure we give this video a thumbs up, a like button, honey. Subscribe down below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button because you know you want to subscribe for more content like this. Be sure to hit the share button and share this video with your friends and family. And yeah, let's get into this before we keep on rambling. Do you see my hair? She snatched. This much product. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, I picked up this palette from Kylie Cosmetics back in the holidays. And I still haven't done a look with it. I think I did a look just to test out the colors on uh, myself. But I have not used this in a video yet. And this is the Naughty palette. I'm on the other palette, but I don't think I was smart enough to get it or something happened. Um, this is what this palette looks like. I don't think you can find it still, but if you can, I will leave it down below for you. Um, this is what this looks like. It's super pretty. It has some different shades in here, and they are very Christmassy. Now this one, I got this for Christmas, and I have not used this in a tutorial yet. Um, but this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I know. I fucking know. It's still in the packaging. Like, I'm sorry. It's really pretty. I know I've used um, my Sweet Peach Palette and something else. But this is super cute. I like it. I've been a mess. So don't judge me, okay? I know I don't think I've used this on here yet. But I have the Swamp Queen palette from Tarte. This was an old palette. Um, but I don't think I've used this. Maybe I have, maybe I didn't. But... I, okay. And I have this Morphe palette. This is the 3502. It looks like this. Oh, how pretty is this? I was super excited to get this. I still have not used this and I'm very upset about myself. Um, it's so pretty. Like, I love the names. I love the formula. This is a new formula that they've come out with, and so I'm upset that I haven't done this myself, but it's like so pretty. When I become unemployed, I will let you know, and I will do a tutorial with this. Okay, I think I shared this with you when I did a video, but I still haven't used this at all. This is the Mickey Mouse palette from Target. And this is this one. It's the warm tone. They have a different one that looks like um, cool tones. And this one is the warm tone. It reminds me of like Naked Heat-ish heat vibes. So that's what. This is, um, yeah, I haven't used this. It looks really pretty though. As well as this palette. This is from Target as well. And this is the Pixie Get the Look It's Eye Time palette. And this is a collaboration with It's Judy Time. I I bought this forever ago and I still have yet to use it. It's so pretty. It's like rosy, like blushy rosy. So I also have a couple of the Wet n Wild quad palettes. They're not quads because they're not four. There are a couple of these palettes. Um, I have the original Comfort Zone palette. I have never used it, but Kathleen Light loves it. And so I caught it. I got it for free actually, because it was in like um, a sale or something. And so I got that one, and then I actually got the new revamped version, and it's really, really pretty. They're just a lot more smaller, and there's an extra matte shade in this one. Um, but there's this one, so yeah. That one, and then I was super into these two as well. Um, I think I've tried them. Um, I have not tried this one, which this one is like a dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. It's called Rose in the Air. You can see it's similar, but you know, it's drugstore. And this one's called Not a Basic Peach. 
She's cute. So I have these little palettes from the drugstore. And I have yet to use my new Jeffree Star palettes. I just... I'm on it! So the first one that I have is Androgyny. I love Miss Androgyny. She's so pretty. I've used my other one. Um, this is a new one. I've showed you guys this. It's super pretty. I will do a tutorial. I just have so many. So many to do. Then I have Miss Blood Sugar. She is beautiful, honey. This is like expensive packaging. Oh, the only thing is I try to clean it because I try to use the white shade and then I fucked up. I fucked up and I got um, a rag into candy floss down here. So it's a little messy, but she's still a beautiful palette. Look at her. Wow. Can you see that? It's so pretty. It's so big. I'm gonna use you. Last but not least, we have Miss Thursday. Ooh. So, oh, I have not used it at all. There's still this thing in here. There's still wrapping on the mirror, and look how pretty she is. Oh, this is the newest palette in his line. In his line, so pretty. Wow. And the middle sh line of shadows is supposed to be like a new formula and everything else in my box is BH Cosmetics that I have left. Okay, so I have these two BH Pro palettes. They're huge and they're two different tones. So this one is the Ultimate Artistry Eyeshadow Palette. Do they both have that? No. Okay, this one's the Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. Morphe kind of. I don't know what this is called, but you know what it's about. Oh, okay. She's cute and whatever. Oh, that's cute. It tells you if it's a matte, a dual chrome, or a shimmer in like this thing. Um, so they're new formulated metallics. They're creamy matte, soft shimmers, intense dual chrome. Oh, snap. There's four different types. This is this one. This is the Ultimate Artistry. It has a lot of blue, purple, pink, neutral tones, but... It's definitely more pops of color than the other one. And this one is called the Ultimate Neutrals. Let's have that too. This is just metallic, creamy mattes and shimmers. And this one, this one is um, just shim neutral. They're neutral colors. It's not super warm tone, but there are some warm tones in here. Um, I'm pretty sure Desi Perkins used this palette as well. And she liked it, so I think that's why I bought it. So we have two more palettes to go and then I have brushes to share with you. Okay, so I got, with my order, it came in with a free Wild and Radiant palette. Um, this is a Illuminating, Illuminating and Bronzing. I wanted to say Illuminati. These are like, um, like jumbo baked eyeshadows. I would not use this for bronzer. I would mostly use this for highlight because I don't like shimmer bronzer. She's a cute one. And then I also picked up the Festival palette because it reminds me of Coachella. So I have heard amazing reviews and stuff about this palette, so I'm excited. It's so colorful and pretty, honey. I'm excited for her. And these are all cute names. Ooh, this pretty color right here. Ooh, honey. There's 20 eyeshadows. <gasps> That's all the palettes. Woo! Picked up five brush sets. Five of them. So this is the first one. Um, this is the Rose, oh no, Crystal Quartz 12 brush set with cosmetic case. So these are 12 Crystal Quartz brushes. Oh, that's a cute case. A bronzing brush. This is the number one. Oh, this is kind of like what Manny uses for bronzer. What does this say? A deluxe powder brush. He goes like this, like, ah, oh, bitch. What is this? Oh, it seems like a foundation brush, kind of. Anything brush. So here's the third one. Like this flat kind of brush. You can use for contouring. I would use for baking. I don't really like contouring with that. Small brushes, like eye brushes. Angled brush, like a nose contour brush, an inner corner brush. Another blending brush. Another blending brush. I'm glad they have like blending brushes. Because I remember back in the day, BH did not know what that was. 
um, like a eyeliner, like a lower lash brush. Oh, a cute small one. Oh, yes, honey. This is a good brush set. I like it. I don't remember how much I paid though. Um, but these are always on sale. They're probably on sale right now if you watch this video. So here's the next one. This is the Weekend Festival Brush Set. So, you know, they have... Their newer lines have been coming out with, like, brush sets. It has a paddle brush. We know we don't like those, but I think that's the only one that I wouldn't like from this brush set. But there's 10 brushes. Everything else in this brush set looks promising. They feel like softish. Have you guys heard of, um, what is this brush that I'm trying to think of? Makeup Shack. I want to look up Makeup Shack brushes and, like, lashes, because they're, like, supposedly bomb. So I'm going to look into that. I'm also going to look into, like, B. Bella. I've heard about her. Rose Quartz Lash Brushes. These are cute. Uh, my sister actually has these and she told me to get them. Love. Right now they just have like super cute brushes. They're like marbly kind of. She looks like um, like a cream or like a foundation. Ooh, I'm loving that they have itty bitty like blending brushes. Cause like, ooh, ooh she's cute. What is this for like? For blush? I wouldn't do this for highlight cause it's so big. I would do this for like or maybe like cream highlight or something. I don't know. Maybe like under eye. Which is a little long though. So picked up is the BH Signature Rose Gold Brushes. They look very promising, sweetie. Okay, I don't know if my camera cut off, but I'm just unboxed the BH Signature Rose Gold Brush Set. Honey, this one is elite. This one came with a little case on it, girl. Okay. So there's 13 brushes in this one. This one looks actually really nice. Um, I also wanted to pick up the Studio Pro brushes they created. Oh, look at these brushes. Okay. Okay. She's a woman. Oh, snap. It comes with like your own little lipstick. Oh, you get like an angled brush. Oh, <gasps> bitch. Dupe or not? Oh, hella dupe. Oh, yes. And in the corner. I'm here for this brush set. Alright guys, and I have one last more brush set to unbox. This is the latest brush set that they've un- or that they have. And this is the most expensive one that they have yet. So this is the Marble Luxe 10 piece brush set, honey. Have you guys seen, like, these are very similar to like the, um, what is her name? The Time Los Angeles brushes. They have some other ones and they're expensive. Okay. I'm living for all of them. Okay. Look at my powder. Oh my like, uh, uh. Look at them. They don't even feel like awful. I don't know what I would use this for. Maybe blush. I think my total with my BH order was like over a hundred dollars, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the marble brushes because everything else was on sale and it was super inexpensive. Oh look, we get a dual fiber brush too. Alrighty guys, so here is the entire haul that I bought. I have a lot of brushes. I have a lot of brushes. <laughs> I have a lot of palettes. Let me know which one do you guys want me to use in my next video. I am gonna film something after right this right now. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. If you wanna see any specific palette, let me know, sis. I will do it. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below what product you guys want me to try out next. Yeah. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Adios.